Hello, welcome. This is uh, Fernando Villarroel, and I will uh, um, teach you how to make a pool game in 3D Max 2010. Well, um, first we create a, a box uh, with a length of, uh, I mean, the segments. The length sex segments 18, the wide uh, 36, um, then we we converted it, we converted to editable poly. Then we um, pick the polygons um, in the perspective viewport we select one polygon and we go to the graphic modeling tools um, we start to loop the polygons okay We threw the polygons about seven. All right, um, we're gonna create a sphere. And we're gonna um, reduce by the um, X uh, axis to create a hole. We're gonna select it from here to work in the top viewport. We're gonna put it right in the corner okay the best way to see how this is going um, alright and so we're gonna lower it down in the front viewport just like that okay and we're gonna um, cut it using the compound boolean um, gonna um, okay this is the part So we gotta change here substration BA. I'm gonna try it one more time. Now we go. Now we're gonna check the hole. Uh, it's it's all right. Then <coughs> we're gonna. Um, So now we create um we're gonna create a standard primitive uh, sphere. This is gonna be our our ball and we're gonna create a stick with the two. So we have now 
our stick and we're gonna reduce the the size we choose our tube and we're gonna reduce size and we're gonna select it and rotate it let me see that's good select it again um, put it behind the ball and we're gonna reduce one more time the axis this time the y axis yeah I think it's good well um let's see we're gonna pick it and try to lower it down rotate it up in the from viewport um, it's important that the the ball doesn't touch the the table all right now we're gonna uh, create um, collection rigid body mm, and we're gonna add the three elements which is um, sphere sphere two two I should have uh, write the correct names for example sphere two it should be table